going on, ladies and gentlemen? Children of all ages. We are here uh, on the road again, actually. Uh, and we are sitting here with Hostel, the other very talented, very crazy person in the ghost town streets. Definitely. But he's just, not in real life. He's such a nice yeah, person. Just a little bit. I mean, I twitch my head once in a while, but just a little bit. Just a little, a little bit, bit, huh? Just a little bit. <laughs> um, it's, it's, I think it's haunt withdrawals, right? <laughs> it's haunt withdrawals, haunt yeah. Withdrawals. So it's haunt withdrawals. I'm like, ah, oh my god, I wish I was doing it again. Um, but, it was funny because actually before we, we started, we came in. It, today is Thursday, by the way, as when we were recording yeah. this. And actually, he, he was saying, like, I was kind of freaking out. You were saying you were kind of freaking out yeah. today because you thought you were going to be late or something. I woke up at, it was kind of funny because I woke up at like 12 and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to be ready. I have to like get everything clean. I was like, I know I have everything clean, but I don't know what I need to do. I was like, I need to find out what, what I need to wear. I'm like, it's Thursday week. Crap, it's already over. <laughs> <laughs> week. Uh, no. You no, know, it's week. It's already it's over. over. Yeah. So, um, but it was, it was very, it's very good. It was bittersweet for myself i bet yeah, yeah. Cause even me and this guy and we've been saying it every podcast on the last day on the ride home it was like oh well it's an egg yeah so you're but like uh, my body was like my body was like you want it to end my mind was like no, no. you don't want it to end. yeah that's how it felt too on the last like it kind of felt like that on the last day it was just like my mind was like 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 I'm not gonna be done at all. I can go for like another four, or six weeks. Come on! And then all of a sudden, like, like my body was like, "Yeah, you're no, you're done. Hit, hit, hit you the towel. You, you had a good season. Hit, yeah, you had a good season. Hit the towel. You're done, dude. Go home and take a shower. Go to sleep, dude. You're fine." <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Hostel. Hostel is of course uh, this character who's would you say he's insane? I've heard different stories. Um, now. So, <laughs> so let us tell me tell me uh, a little bit about your original concept of hostel and how it's evolved. This is live. <laughs> yeah. Since, um, uh, in, since in, in, color. in color. In color. And um, you're about to get the first scoop of what I pretty much say. Um, so my character is a sane and it's a silent patient. It's a schizophrenic a silent patient. So my character involves with me hallucinating to seeing different objects, different people. I um, I am just in this madness of like, don't know what's going on, don't know where I am type thing, or I'm looking for like my, my, my mission's going to like going either places. But with that, with the, bat, with the origin, how it started is um, I, I was I, just a regular townsfolk, and um, I had I had a wife and like a boy and a girl, two like two kids, and then, um, but like we, but like I guess like I was just insane. I was just like I mean, well, after that, <laughs> there was a lot to it. Um, but like I was um, getting to this point where like I wasn't I wasn't feeling well. I was just like sick, or and then. Um, I was having blackouts, like I was having blackouts, and all of a sudden I had this blackout, and then my my wife, my two kids were dead. I was like, "What's going on?" And like, "What happened?" And I went, I had to get sent, I had to go to doc, I had to go to the the Sinta asylum. Besides going to um, the you know going to like jail, mm -hmm. um, that's what I was told by the sheriff. And um, so my doctor was, as you know, virus. Virus, virus. was my doc was my doctor, and then he, but he keeps on telling me that that there's someone that that has done it, like that killed all my family, and you have to find out who did it. And I'm I'm like, but he knows the whole time. My doctor knows that I've. Kill, I've um, he, I've killed all those people definitely mm -hmm. um, because I was just going through a mental state of like just happened like I blacked out they were like came alive they were dead um, so um, I go I after that I um, was to, to where I was going insane for because I wanted to find out who did all this who made me this crazy insane like I'm just like um, and then that's when like the science fiction show like hallucination I see death I see, and death tells me like I know who like who you are death gets involved and I see him and then um, this is af 
but like this is right after when I the Sarah Marshall curse happened. Um, I just start to like my eye starts to pop my right eye and oh. it's just blood and then I can only see that they wanted me to find out in one eye that I can who who did all this to me and I have to but that's when I the blindfold comes involved and I was like gosh dang I have to like go I go out there and find who I am but like I escape I don't like I don't tell I don't tell anyone don't tell my doctor don't tell anyone I just escape and find out and I was supposed to go Death, or someone told me in my head that I was supposed to go west, and I keep on going west. But I was, um, I, but I'm going in circles yeah. around the town. So like, I makes sense, especially so, if you see him work at night. It's like you're going in circles. Yeah, going in circles. Like you're don't like I'm supposed to like my 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 mission is to go west and find out who is. Who is making me who I am right now? Yeah. And this uh, uh, same person, um, but um, then I fight. Then I get I get this like anger and like um, I I want to like it makes me want to kill. Makes me want to like um, tell them like you don't mess with the insanity, and I will find out who is uh, making me who I am. Like who making me this like in insane again and then it just like kind of goes from there like there's other people like i said people like death is involved um with it um he he's the one that kind of like i see him and i follow him like i'm kind of like going with my journey and i he he'd be right there he pops out of nowhere just like and i follow him like he kind of like tells me like come on like i'll show you where the way is and then he i'll guide i'll like follow him and um as you see, like um, if you were familiar with like uh, a year or two ago, we were we would be me and Death would be tag partners. We would run together, and um, which was a great great time, and especially in 2017, we did it. Um, which Death was uh, Mike Mike Bates, and uh, great character, greatest. I, I that was the greatest idea in uh, Ghost Town that I've seen in a while. So, um, but I, um, yeah, he uh, that's pretty much how it is today like it's just it's insane now yeah. i i, I, I want to know because you know we we've watched you a lot this season when, yeah. when we were fortunate enough to because you're one of the characters who uh you know you move around a lot which i would say you would have to just because now <laughs> you're starting to build that popularity of people who know who you are mm -hmm. and, and and we see you a lot i want to know because i'm just curious do you remember a lot of time the stuff you whisper um Yes and no. I um, it's like Merrick saying like I don't remember the half of the things and I say that half of the time or something like that. And I'm like I don't remember like a good quarter of it. You know, like I remember I remember things I say, but I don't remember all of it. And it's just kind of like you're. It's kind of like a blur. It's kind of a blackout. When I first did this character, I said so. I went out and did so many things. It was so improvised. Like I did left and right. I was didn't know what I was doing at first, uh, especially in my, when I started in 2016. Um, and I, uh, as this character, and I just was like, I, like, what do I say? What do I do? And then that's when I started to research. I watched a whole hour of how, how schizophrenics um, are, <laughs> like how their symptoms are, how they speak, what they see, what, like, what words do they say? Yeah. Cause it's like, they, there's words how, um, there, if you ever look at look up on it, there's um, how schizophrenics talk, mm -hmm. and they talk to one different. They will speak one word to like another. It's like random subjects. Definitely. So like you will keep to saying to one random subject to another, and uh, um, that's how I was doing for myself. And um, but I would, uh, but for me, like I would just keep on doing that, and also like kind of go back with my my story i would just tell people like i will warn people about the town how like after the whole curse happened the sarah marshall curse and i'll tell people like be warned because this will happen to you this yeah, is definitely. what this is what insanity will help will look like if you get if you're if you're so if, if you're like led onto it mm -hmm. and i would tell warn people that's how i um if you see me in the first like 
half hour of main gate, I would tell people do not go in. Yeah. My, I would lay them, I was, if you see me, I'm on my knees out tall, screaming out like, do not go in. You're like, this is, this is not right for you guys. The, the exit is that way, but I will point at ghost town. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, ghost town. I'm like the exit is that way, but like, and, um, and then, Technically, he's right. If you're going on a Saturday, you can yeah, go back to the Western exit. Yeah, go on right the Western exit. But I'm like, hey, it's right there for you guys. Go under, but don't go on the side, the the right side, you know. Um, but I would tell like people like that, and then like, that's how like um, after like just go from there. I would just say random subjects. I have, a, I have a fun fan theory about your character for this season, especially. Um, being that we started paying attention to this and the lore of the, the whole overall story is that one of the reasons why you're more insane is because a lot of the people in the town you probably knew mm -hmm. before they got transformed and that drove you to be who you are. <laughs> that was like a little fan theory little I had. Bit, yeah. Before I actually knew any of this, yeah. it was my fan theory of like this, the reason why he is the way he is is because all of his friends got turned. Yeah. And now this is how he's seeing life and it just drove him nuts. Yeah, well, it's kind of like, it's kind of like how he got like to this. He started having this, all this blackouts before he was like, in, like yeah. he went to the asylum. He's like, people would turn on him. People, people would act different around him in the town because he's just a nice town folk. Mm -hmm. He would just wanted to like, he just worked and did like work, married, did work for his kids. And he had like, he was just a, like a regular nice like, there's no worse to it like this now nice town folk and then he but people would act different around him people would see him different like like what see like he would say like hello to one person and he would just like hey, don't touch me like you just like all right and he goes well why yeah. and then like that's when he's like well what's wrong with me and then that that just it's like that like triggers like his mind to like go like insane just like what's i never done anything i never done anything wrong and then anything like that so um which is by the way i say which i get i say too and in, involved i'm like i never done anything involved like i never uh, this is not who i am and then um you should be this person type thing so definitely random subjects like that will come up uh, as, as i go with the character in case people are trying to figure out this entire time this is actually the stray jacket that yes. he has made uh for the character that you've probably seen yes. him in um yeah. Such a great piece of yeah. art, right? Here. Yeah. Like, this is like this is essentially your jersey, right? Here. My is it is my jersey out of my other jerseys that I've I've had over the years. Um, this this thing was made by um, a guy named Adam Dollings. We go way back, um, which is um, a Rissy Dollings' brother. Um, if you guys are not familiar, she's in The Witch and the Hanging. Okay. I believe she's like oh, she plays something like that in The Hanging. I know, uh, but she. But she, we, well, me and her go way back. We were good friends back in um, 2014, 15. Um, but she was um, in Ghost Town for a while. But she, um, so her brother, like, how, how should I put this? Because, like, it kind of goes like how I did this idea. If you guys want to know how I did that, the whole idea, how I, this costume came by, and it's, it, <laughs> how like this character developed up so um so my this character that i've been wanting i was just a townsfolk in ghost town i was just like i just played a gruesome townsfolk in ghost town um because uh, um, that's how i i did it and i just didn't know what to do and um then i saw um in 2014 i saw this character um named uh that Paul Fischett played and he had this white painted face with a top hat but his arms were his posture as his character was so creepy he had this smile I was like look at him like that's what I want to do I want to act like really I want to look really creepy yeah that's a creepy character I'm like but how do I get like how do I do that and then like I just as on as on like goes on like I had ideas of it and then that's like when I had my my old character I would just started like twitching and like saying a bunch of gibberish words and then um, and it started working and I started to develop to um, uh, or to like I'm like well I want to do something more than just saying gibberish words or something like but there's something I have to do like it was just just 
it just wasn't coming out of my head. So um, um, then I had a, a friend I sat down with uh, or at Ghost Town, we were just, just talking about like just haunt in general and just like what's going, like we're like this really good year. And, I, and uh, she goes like, I think you're doing a really great job with like, I think you're gonna develop to something else. I said, yeah, but I want to do something like just insane, like, uh, like, like, like I want something that is unique out of Ghost Town. And she goes, Have you ever thought of like an asylum character? I was like, That's where to go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Where to go with that? And I'm like, Yeah. I'm like I didn't thought like I I was like I was thinking of that, but like I never thought that would work. Yeah. Like I would never like I would thought that that would never because I thought it wouldn't. Because yeah, you look at Ghost Town and you just don't associate the two, but yeah, you make it work. Like now it's, it's, it's one of, yeah. and I'm gonna go out and say it. This is what I think. It's a staple character of Ghost Town. Yeah. And, it um, really is. And I appreciate that. That, like, and, and I'm like, but like, I'm not sure that how it works. I don't know if like, and then we were just, I was worried because how it's gonna process, how it's gonna make it then. And then my, I was like, all right, let's just, I'm gonna make the, we're gonna make the uh, costume idea. Let's go from there. And then, uh, and then her brother, Ann Dollings, to, um, brought up this um, idea saying like, hey, I want to show, I have this like piece without the belts, this like jacket, it's $4 over at, um, uh, over at Goodwill and I'm, uh, you want me to make, grab that and put belts on it and I'll make it to a straight jacket. I was like, yeah, I was like, dude, like, I, that'd be totally great. Because then you'd probably have to go on the internet and spend like 60, 70 bucks just for a straight I jacket. I did. I, yeah. looked, I looked up before while he was, a, before he even mentioned this, I was looking up straight jackets that were like 80 to 100 and $200. Yeah. Like, I, think, like straight I, I think what's so unique about your straight jacket is one, it's a homemade one. Mm -hmm. But two, it really like brings out your character. Like I mm -hmm. love the way it looks. Um, I, I prefer that you went the homemade version because like, you know, you go, you see obviously the regular straight jacket, but yours is so unique and different from others. Yeah, and that's a very blessed thing about it. It's just, I went with this different idea of, I wanted to make it look like I made it besides grabbing one offline and then just going, use it during that, generic during that, one, standard yeah. generic and going from there. But I used, I, I wanted to make like, I wanted to have like a homemade one and then um you know like i he uh he once he told me he, he's like i made it for you this is how it looks at front and then um i told him like dude like i don't he i he didn't want me to pay him or anything it was wow. like dude i i was like i told him like i'll pay you a lot just for this jacket i was like this so um this is honestly without him i think this this wouldn't not exist at all. Yeah, because now so it's, a, it's a staple he, character. It's a it's staple it's character. Part of Hostel, you know? Yeah. This is, like, when you see Hostel, this is what you see. Like, this is yeah. one of the things that you see yeah. that really stands your character out there. Yeah, so Adam Dollings, you're, like, the number one man. You, you made this whole, this, without this, this, my Hostel character wouldn't be who it is to this day. Um, so, yeah. One of the funny things that I've seen you do a lot this season was, uh, I see you do a couple of weird shit this season. Let's just let's, let's start with that. You want to have a whole list? <laughs> yeah. Um, Should we look at our phones and see? <laughs> yeah. uh, one of the funny things that you do in front of people is you start drooling. <laughs> hey, that, that was a whole okay. That whole idea was started last year. That was in two thousand. No, actually, it started in two thousand seventeen. But I did a little bit. But two thousand eighteen, I started doing a lot. Um, I started to, um, I would look at people and then I would see, I would start seeing other things, like other films or other like, re I would start doing research, but like other asylum characters will like, other asylum patients will drool themselves yeah. as out of like their, their yeah, mindset, yeah, their mindset, totally and they're weird. just like, they're, and then they drool so much out of it. So I'm like, that will be a cool thing. You know, it won't be just like out of a fun thing, but I would do it. And I thought people would be like either like people won't like it or just like disturbed oh well, it's just it. disturbed by it yeah. or they were just like oh this is guy drooling you know whatever <laughs> but I had a lot of good reactions like people I used to surprise that the people that are like, we get like 
no, they go too far event, but like people that are tough, like we have the tough kids. Mm-hmm. Like you can't mess with me and all that. Um, you're you're not like um, I'm tougher than you. You psycho. Then I look at him and I drool, and then he's like, "Oh man, get the fuck away!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man, get away, man. What's the secret behind the drool? Um, the secret behind the drool, um, just as much saliva you can do. You if you walk like as much as I do, I'm constantly like drooling out. And then that's when I had the whole black the black color dye I wanted to give out. I'm like, I think it'll be really like a kind of a unique way to like drool out like regular, not regular spit, but like black coming out of my, my mouth. And um, that would be the- uh, Yeah, I mean, I've seen you, I, I remember you were right there and I came off the bench and I saw you chewing something with you. I'm like, are you chewing something? You went, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, was just, I was like, all right, he is, okay. Another funny thing I saw you do this season, which was also, at the same time, I was like, oh God, he just did that. Yeah. It was um, someone spilled something on your knee pad and you looked at it, grabbed it with your hand and licked it and then walked over. Oh yeah. I was like, um, this guy slides with the Yeah, that was, oh. um, so that whole thing, that whole idea, um, it was actually started two years ago because I started right in the last week of Haunt. Uh, my first one I started doing was um, it was, I don't know if it was the second last year or the last day, but I, I found, I was ru- walking in and I saw this, like, cheese, like, you know, like, if you were at a movie theater, those nacho cheese? Yeah. yeah. So I found that on the floor and I was like, it was just full, just full, like, this nacho cheese wasn't even, like, um, it was open, didn't even touch, and I was like, what the hell? I was like, I'm gonna grab it, and then I grabbed it, and I put it in my mouth. And I was just like slobbering, and then I had cheese, yellow cheese all over <laughs> with, with my old mask, yellow cheese, and I kept on there. Were, and then people were just looking like, what the hell is he having? <laughs> and then um, even my, like, even monsters were looking around, they were like, oh, oh, cheese. <laughs> and I was looking around, they're like, what are you having? I was like, cheese, <laughs> cheese. And then like, I would go around and I said, cheese. For some darn reason, I said cheese, and um, then I then I started doing it ever since. Like I I had like I've last. Heard, I've heard you do ranch bar barbecue mm-hmm, sauce. Ranch barbecue. I would do like uh, if there were slow days. I would like drool out uh, ranch or barbecue sauce on the floor, and I'll lick it, and I'll and uh, people <laughs> look at me like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> and then people would not know what it was because. Like I mix, I've had mix of like, I've done last year. I mixed uh, berry punch and ketchup, and oh mixed, my God. And I split it out, and they're just like, because I I want I was just doing it right in front of like guests, and they were just they're like, because this one this one girl last year she was like comes up to me, she's like oh hey what hey cutie how are you doing then. Because I had all I had it inside my mouth and I spit it out. She's like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and then I, and then I like, throw it out and then I lick it. She goes, "Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up!" And she starts taking off. <laughs> and people were just like, "You see people laughing. You see where you're like, yo man, that guy got some issues, dude.' He's <laughs> good, like, um." But you go the 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 lengths though. It's yeah, just, it's it's something. It's, that you don't see in a lot of characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't see those in a lot of characters. I think the last time I've seen a character do that was in probably in Carnival, but I think, but other than that, like I haven't seen anyone in Ghost Town like do that extreme. Cause you gotta think of it, it's like this insane guy is gonna go out there and do what he can. Yeah. And he's gonna, but also while he's doing, he's gonna do his, he's gonna find out his mission. And then he, then all of a sudden he's gonna do the same stuff, like talk to himself. And he's gonna sit, lick. He's gonna bite things or lick things or, you know, like any other insane person would. And the way I look at it is like, okay, the guests may are gonna be like, wow, that's fucking nasty. But you, as a character, probably think of it as like it's a normal everyday thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Which, yeah. it, which that's what really builds towards the character. Yeah. I haven't seen a character really at any haunt go the lengths you do to bring this character to life mm-hmm. as far as, you know, doing, you know, stuff with like, you know, ranch and stuff or, you know, just anything like that. Yeah. Um, another one of my favorite things that you do is you will go up to someone, start whispering in their ear 
random shit, and then you do the, your famous. That <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I would, I would do just that. I would, um, but I would. That whole idea was kind of like. I don't do it like Merrick does, but like I would look, I would tell him things like how like in the way where it's just like really creepy. I'll ran, I'll ramble like a lot of words. I'll say things that don't even make sense, but it will still creep him out. Yeah, I don't know why, but it still does. I'm like <laughs> I'm like I don't know what I'm saying, but like you're still creep out. But like me saying like mac and cheese and like Jeez. mac and cheese and diarrhea and all that crap, <laughs> and then I'm like, what are you like? What like why? Um, but but yeah, people would legit freak out. Like, like I think they're more scared of the fact that this guy just comes up to me, starts whispering stuff to me, mm -hmm. and then he does much like how Merrick described how he does the. When he's done with something, he describes it as a mic drop. He does his thing and then leaves. Mm -hmm. Your signature, I've noticed, is you you do a yell and then you clap your hands. Yeah. Um, uh, so from th that whole idea was, um, I would I would say people behind my back and then I, would, I mean behind their back, and I would like, but I would my whole idea of that was someone me whispering behind their back is me saying up in this next scare tactic, like next scare, like. So like if someone's coming through while I'm talking to them, that person I'm actually looking at the person on the right, and, and they think you're still going to be trying still to scare that one yeah. person. Yeah. So it's a distraction, and I just come out and slam yeah. my plates right there. I'll scream out whatever, and um, that that I've been doing for a while, and it works out so well. I mean, it's part of your character, man. I mean, mm -hmm. I see mm -hmm. when I associate that. I, I there was a time this season where I would go to work. And uh, I, I work at a high school, I'm a custodian, so <laughs> there would be times where like, I would literally be like, I'm gonna hostile people today. I really am. And mm -hmm. I just, I'd wait for them to come out of the locker room and go, ah! And then they'd run away. <laughs> they get all scared and stuff, and yeah. it was hilarious. Yeah. I mean, there was, there was moves that like, I found myself doing at work to scare people just the, for the fact because I saw them at haunt. There's one move that Seth does where he fucking does this high kick and slaps his fucking yeah. on his pad. You know? Know. That's an old, old and, I mean, everyone does, does it. it. Yeah, I've done it for you. I've done it in my, when before I had this character, um, I've had, i done the high uh, kick, um, like scare. I don't know what it is actually. It's high kick scare. I just uh, call it the high kick. The high kick. Yeah, that's all I call it. We'll go with that. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, all I call it because that's literally what it is. You're it looks like you're kicking some. You're simulating kicking someone in the face. Exactly. It's like you're you're look like you're kicking someone in the face, but like it's like not. But um, that one's just more of like a date. It's such. It's as much as it looks dangerous. You have to be the time it, perfect, time it yeah. perfectly. It's the same thing with people like you're you're scaring people. Like that's like me doing that with like distracting the guests that's like I'm distracted by the guests that I'm thinking they're like right behind them and then I go for that scare on the right that person that's coming towards me yeah is like you know you have to time it well even people that are um, um, there's another one that I do with the whole like when I know people that are like looking that are coming towards me you can just look by their shadows yeah and you gotta think like I'm blind in one one eye but I still can see a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, like I'll look, but like I'm hinged down so I can see what's, what their shadow's coming out and I'll do it. And it's such, you have to do it such a perfect time, but people will like it. You, you have, great, I get great reactions out of that too. Yes. Yeah, you come in night after night, no matter what it is, with just 110%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I appreciate and, that. And, and, <laughs> yeah, I mean, cause mm -hmm. like, you're always constantly on the move. You, no matter what, and. And this is a big thing. You don't break. Uh, when, yeah. you're, when you're out there, you're it's, gone. Hostel yeah. takes over. Yeah, it's it's kind of like the that's the whole idea of it. I've been ever since I got this character. I told myself, I promised my, I kind of promised myself saying that, you know, it, this character that you're doing, it's nonstop. You're gonna, you're gonna, like your legs are gonna shatter. Or it's just going to get really tired. <laughs> um, but I'm literally like, you're going to nonstop move, but you're going to also not break. Mm -hmm. The whole idea is not to break. It's like not to break the character. Um, I, just me is going through like that 110% has been like, has worked. But yeah. just like, I can't, I 
I can believe I'm I'm there so this I'm like lip there and I'll send a like I'll go on backstage and I'm like why haven't I taken the break at all cuz like I'm like constantly on a move yeah. Yeah. and um you, like people even ask me like you like what what makes you like move like that I honestly like I just have this it's honestly an adrenaline rush here one like you the, the the character I have is so hyped. Yeah, it's so hyped up. It gets so hyped up, and then you just that's that when you wear that straight jacket, it's just a different, different, different. Um, Definitely. Um, so I mean, a different world. So um, that's how I feel. It's like you're in a, I'm in a different world, um, 110 percent, and um, this different person. So that that's how I I like to uh, work with it. Um, go for it. Yeah. So you had mentioned a little bit earlier. You're Obviously, your character is based upon uh, schizophrenic patient. Was there any other things it's based upon, or any other um, schizophrenic? Um, s- schizophrenic character. Um, a, um, a lot of it's more um, psychopathic, because um, it, it's and uh, you know it mixes with a little bit with like Merrick's idea, because mm-hmm. Merrick was like the finishing touch of this character. I wanted to do something, but like, I did, wanted to do a character, uh, going back from like how this character was made, like I wanted to do a character, like a silent character, but like I want just like, Merrick already had one. So, but like, they're like, well, you're doing something way different out of like, versus from what he's doing. Definitely. Um, I kind of think for me and him, we're like me and like, I'm the, the associate, I'm the, um, the schizophrenic, Merrick's more of the sociopath. Yeah. He can go out there. He's just this badass bandit, and like, but he will literally talk to that box, and that box is like something else uh, with this world, and which uh, you guys probably have We've heard just, about, heard yeah. about um, it. <laughs> and it's funny you bring up Merrick because he was telling us last night, which probably was either last year he started doing this storyline, or maybe this year, but he said part of the reason why your character is your character is because he he did something to your medication where with virus and. Yeah. Flipped you. Yeah. We, um, we, he. I mean, because I know every year the stories are constantly <laughs> so changing. It changing just, to, yeah. just to kind of keep up with the lore of how everything goes, which right. I think is cool because, like, you could. I mean, you're always going to go back to that one essential. This is how it started. Mm-hmm. And as the time goes on, this is how it's progressed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there's yeah. always that. There's always going to be that. This is the original. This is right? the original idea. Yeah. Um, so, my. So, the. I. Going back to what. When me and Merrick, me and Merrick's character, we're cousins, mm-hmm. um, which me and hit, me and him hate each other a lot, which is why the idea with us rambling to each other and fighting out in the middle of fought, like birdcage or anywhere is like because we hate what's our it's our enemy we are against each other yeah uh, but I listen to him because he has this higher power of a sanity than he than i do yeah because i listen to him like that's why he does his whole pet thing he's like and he it's or this possessed thing that he does every <laughs> time but he but it's my hair and i just like he and i didn't know what was going on in the first place when we first did it by the way because he was paying my hair and i was just like and i thought i felt really good because i was my head was hurting i was like oh my god it's really like, and he was just like yeah do it yeah and then um but in your head you're like, this, this is a great scalp i was like massage. this is just great scalp massage <laughs> with this huge garden gloves like touching my head and then but like i kind of thought I'm like he's actually like in a way like i'm listening to him yeah what he's doing and um and that's like that's why he I let him do that part, but also I that the whole scene which um, you kind of see at the end of like the season, I'm like we go at it with each other because I'm I get so like, a, like, angry and insane that I'm the one that you know what I'm better than you, than um, and you and everyone knows in this town so like that's how we argue and we go from there, um, but. Yeah, it kind of does. Like he he flipped he flipped my medication. Like that's how I've been like insane. Insane, because like he's he's that it's it, that's how like I, I am for this character. It's just like and I got the idea 
like I've I've asked I've asked Mer or Am Jahan like me and Am Jahan go way back in 2016. I told I talked to him about like hey I want to do like this character. I have this like pitch idea. I gave him this character. And I told him like I don't want it to be like me like be the same, but I want us to be very different, a different yeah. insan insanity. And just he agreed with that. Well, yeah, because your your type of insanity is more like mental hospital mm -hmm. insanity. His mm -hmm. insanity is, he, from what he told us, because he said he's got a story for him, he, he sees stuff on the ground, he sees stuff in the trees, mm -hmm. he's got that, you know, the spirits in his box. So his insanity is way different than yours. But there's something that you two do that I, I love, and we talked a little bit about it with Merrick, mm -hmm. is when you guys are rolling together, and you go up to someone, you're whispering one thing, he's whispering one thing. Yeah. That person that's just stuck in the middle, feeling uncomfortable. So I'm like the. It's kind of funny because we kind of. I kind of think of mu music is like he's the one that does the vocals, and I'm the one that does the the audio of music in the background. So he's the one that's talking. And I'm the one that's like laughing in the background because like I'm like just like giggling because like it's just like I. And then that's when we we rumble together. It just. It starts to mix and mix and mix yeah. and then everything. That's and that's kind of like the final touch. We're just like all of, like these guys are like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. Um, and that's our goal is for us to like to creep people out like that. You're you're getting this mixture of not only Merrick doing his own thing, but you're getting a, a me. So it's like this huge combo with a large soda. It's great though. <laughs> yeah. It's like Merrick described it as he's saying his thing. He doesn't know what you're saying half the time, but you know it's working mm -hmm. because of that whole fact of you got that person in the middle who's obviously you can tell is feeling uncomfortable mm -hmm. because you got two freaking crazy people yeah. yelling in their ears or just whispering in the ears. And then you guys, of course, like you mentioned before, it's a distraction tactic at the same time, though, because you can see people walking by like, oh, look, they're not going to get me. And then out of nowhere, you turn it. Yeah, boom. that's that's the and that's my whole idea, too. Like, we, it's either me and him going for the scare. Yeah, um, we're it's like a distraction, and um, we kind of do. Me, like I, I don't know if he does that a lot, but I do that a lot more. I kind of will talk to someone, or I'll talk to myself, thinking that it's, it's just me just being like insane, or like um, as you can. I think you mentioned about me like ramp like rambling through like the wooden pole, and I'll just like oh like, yeah, talk just to my, your head in my head, head or yeah. I'll just like talk. To, I'll sit there and just talk to myself and I'll just point at something and think like it's a person or something like or some like some other like I because I the whole idea is me hallucinating seeing other people yeah and talking to them but then I um then all of a sudden I, I just clap my hands and that's how I get the scare because they're just thinking like oh it's just an insane guy you know talking so let him be hey and then all of a sudden like I go out and they just like like it's I get good reactions out of it. It's amazing how that works. And I, you know, you never know because, like, it's kind of going for like, like it's like a hit or miss type of thing. Yeah, so. I mean, and I remember or like I think mid season I, I sent you the video from that movie Thirty One. Yeah. Of um, what's his name? Uh, his name. I forgot his name, but he's from Three from Hell. Three from Hell yeah. as well. And uh, and I was like, dude. The minute I saw this, I thought of you. Mm -hmm. I was like, I could see, and you've probably used that line many I've, times. I have used that line, which you, you, I thank you for that, because I've, I've used, I went out there and I said, I was, I'm not insane, I'm in control, because I told people I was in control, Yeah. and um, and then everyone knows, and I had, I thought people, there was people, I was talking, talk, I was like saying something to someone, like, I was saying something to some guests, I, I don't know why I said, but like, I told him I was in control, and all these people in the, around the circle know about it, but there was no around the circle. <laughs> there was no around the circle, but like I told him, these people around the circle know all about it, and they they know that, that I'm in control, but like they, and, that, and that circles in your head. It circles in my head, but I see them, but yeah. they don't. Um, which was like the whole goal, and they were just like, "What? <laughs> what?" <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the whole like, idea. Was like that, like I love doing that just the same things um even like i i done it to um people to uh, which one of the artists is uh, mackenzie crow uh one popular thing we we done what she's <laughs> she's drew of me was this whole um kid name i think it's sammy um and then i told i was scaring her and i said a lot of things i told her there was <laughs> 
Yeah, you gotta know, because like you say, if you, me and Merrick say things like, we can say pretty much whatever, but not whatever. And we, I would say, I would say things like, there's dead babies hanging around the, <laughs> the, the, the gun shop. And then I'll say, there's, there's, I told him like, and I told Mackenzie that, like, do you see that child? And there was no one there. I told her, you see that child, or that child named Samuel, is his face is smushed because his mother got sick of him of his his immaturity so she stomped him on the on the ground to the point where he he and then to the point where she she's dug she dug him up and then she's that he's like buried under there and i i told her i told her you hear that sammy that's why you like you better listen and i stomped the ground where his face was and i point i told her like that's where his face is at, and like, and then she goes, "I don't see him." Because <laughs> she drew one picture of you kicking a baby. Yeah. That, oh yeah, the old baby. <laughs> so it was like, I was like, "What is going on?" I can so see Hostel doing something yeah. like that. I mean, um, just stomping babies. Like. Yeah. So um, there were, that whole idea was okay. So there was this, I, and it, which I don't know why guests bring their babies. By the way. No babies were harmed in the making of this. No, home. no babies were Hostel harmed. Hostel is a sweetheart. Um, it's just a character you put on. Yeah, and this is whole like this is whole imagination. So yeah. I'm just letting you know. Um, oh, I saw this uh, mother with his baby, his cute baby, by the way, and it was at birdcage, and I I was just like like doing this whole like I was staring at it, and then I would put my hands I covered my face I'll go like that and at first like the baby was like scared at first and then I would go around and scare and I would come back and I would just like look at it and just like smile but like I would like I wave my hand and then um when so when the baby left right when like like a couple feet away I out of random I don't random because most of my stuff is all improvised. Mm -hmm. Grab, I pretend I grab the baby and I threw it, <laughs> and I was just like screamed out of my head. I was like, "Yeah!" <laughs> and then Mackenzie and all of them for like the gun shop saw that and died, started laughing <laughs> their heads off. They were just like, "What the hell was that?" And I just started to do that ever since. Like I, I, I done it to like other people that were like very annoying. I would do it to people that were just that look really innocent like this there was this very old lady this old lady with this wheelchair this like i i don't know who it was someone was pushing her and she the dad the, the guy was like oh look at look at him like look at the monster she's like oh and then i was like just like wait i would stare at her and like wait till she goes and i wave she's like oh and then like very nice lady <laughs> I look like a big ten. I grabbed the wheelchair and I flew it off. <laughs> <laughs> but like she was like, "What?" She, I'm like we we're like, "What the hell?" <laughs> That's funny because you know, like, and you mentioned Kenzie because I remember I think it was either that Friday night of the last weekend or that closing night. Mm -hmm. No matter what, like you could, you know, you obviously you've talked to her and stuff. Mm -hmm. But no matter what, she was always scared of your character. Yeah, she, she was, was always scared. Out. I think so the fact that I was spitting out a lot of things too. But like <laughs> the fact that she was so terrified that she's like, you're like, I don't know how you, you do that, but you the way you come towards me is, and I come towards people like real fast and I'll yeah. stop. Yeah. And um, and then people, and she's like, I don't know how you do that, but it just freaks me out. And, um, Cause I remember you were doing it in front of the gun shop, and she kept you kept following her. She's like, "Stop! Stop following me! Stop! Yeah, stop! This yeah. Is yeah. Not, stop! It's not funny." Yeah. Then I, I mean, and I, I've done that to people at a point where like people get scared. They're like, "Okay, stop! Don't do it!" <laughs> so I'm like, and but it's just adding fuel to the fire. It's, right? It actually does. Yeah, it's a really fuel to a fire where you just don't like even when people that are that act like we have people that mess around with you, and then they. They all of a sudden they go like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and I just keep on falling. They're like, all right, I'm just, I'm, I'm really sorry. And they're like, please. <laughs> and like, well, it just kind of the same. Like, you don't mess with the sanity. Yeah. It's just don't mess with because you will get, well, like you said, the fuel of the fire. Yeah. And that, like that, but like she, yeah, she's always been very that terrified me every yeah, time. I thought that was hilarious. Mm -hmm. So just going back a little bit, we, we were talking a little bit about Merrick. 
Um, and Merrick actually submitted a question for you. I feel oh, bad because I don't let him talk a lot. I, I get I too. Know, I get no. too. Why you getting, why? I know. I get too excited with the guests yeah. that we. And he knew this was gonna happen on this specific episode too. He goes, I already know the hostel episode's all yours, dude. Yeah, let, let all be. All right, so going back to Merrick's question here, it's almost the same question you asked him last night. Of uh, what was your favorite moment with him? And I know there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a, there's a lot. There was, uh, it's, it, it, you, you can go back to like 2017 to like now. Um, I think the funniest one that I would say um, this year, well, I would say besides the arguments that we've done, um, I think I have two <laughs> kind of funny ones. Um, well, the first one was our first busiest night. And we, that was this year. And we were told that by the word of mouth that we couldn't go to the candy shop. We couldn't go there at all. They were like telling us, you can't go through the candy shop because Borges Lines is like covered. Yeah. You know, like it was just, and the line was all just going to scale. So it was like, it was just like chaos. So we just saw ourselves, we can't go there. And um, so like we were void, we were like um, blocked from there. Then me and Merrick, every time we go out, we're just like a last hour. So we went around and we go to that area where it was cut off mm -hmm. and we told, and I was like gonna, cause I, I was gonna say something like, well, I was gonna turn back and go, but I, I told him like, no, cause he went, kept on going towards that, the line we supposed to go. And I was like, no, don't go. He's like, no. And then he goes, yeah. <laughs> and then we just went through it we're like oh crap dude we're gonna get so much in trouble that we were just like running through and um he said yeah he said yeah uh he um but yeah he but we went through it all with that he, our reg, regular circle he, uh lap circle and we're just like man and we didn't get trouble for, for it but we just the fact that he was just he doesn't care. He, he does not have that. He goes full blown like Mad Max. Mad Max. Yeah, yeah. He just doesn't care. He just goes at it. He's like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> and then, um, but I think the, I think that was our, the, and then the, the moment we had, um, our arguments the last day was, um, so he, we went full at it and, um, he, we were arguing then he usually hits me with his thunder drug and I usually block it. Well, I didn't block it the second time when he hit me and he smacked me with this thunder jug in my face oh. hard and I flew down the ground, but like, I was laughing insanely. So I was like, and then like, but we were arguing, but I got up, we had, I don't know how many, to I don't know how many people, we had hundreds of people watching us. Oh, we had people watching us looking like, and they were recording and we're just like, we're like, oh shit. <laughs> we're like, we got it. Then like, but we kept on going and arguing. Like, then, um, but he, but then like, that's when our uh, our caster was like, Anthony said like, okay, you guys, are you guys done? Right, cool. Then, um, but yeah, that's then after we just we we went like I think the those arguments and I can't remember anything else, but we were just we. Like I, I, there's just so many moments of him, bet, him. yeah. Yeah, because I mean I've seen a lot. Um, early mid season, there was something that you guys did where he was on the floor crouched, and then you were right behind him, kind of squatted, looking. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, and I actually caught that on camera, so I might put yeah. that in. But it was just, it's something, it's moments like that where it's like, okay, when the two crazies are together, yeah, you know, shit's gonna have fun. You know, it's a very cool thing about me and him because, like, it's and it's always a byway. It's always a blast working there. Like, I like love that guy to all my heart. And he's like the uh, outside of Hans, the greatest friend to ever. Um, and he's he's a, a supporting me so much with the, what I do with this character. So he, but like every time we like we're staring together, it like us two running together. It looks so badass. Like we did it. Like I remember the first time. That and that was the moment where I knew like where we're gonna we're gonna do that. Me, you are gonna run together for quite some time this uh, in our haunt years. And also, so when I 
when I get everything I get ready and I think the whole meetings is I think everyone talks about the meetings is like really uh, pumps you up too yeah and then um, when I get there I think a lot I don't know a lot of people see but I actually am very quiet but I actually sit Indian style and I will just sit there and I'll just like like gaze out and just like you know wait till you know the actual get mind, to that mindset that mindset and where you're gonna, what's your what you're gonna do today and what what you're gonna say and um then when we do our stretches and all that and after that whole hype happens i'm just there ready to go like that's um i i i think that that's how i get into that whole moment it's just it's all out of like right when i step into that that zone it's just a different, awesome. a different there, there. yeah yeah. Do you do you set goals for yourself every day, every night, um, weekly? I I actually kind of don't, but um, um, I don't really do that as much as I thought I would do. I'd be, but like I I, I just kind of it's all improvised uh -huh. for myself. It's really, but like I do have moments where I what when am I gonna say this week? Or um, I'll watch movies and say like I kind of like relate to like them. Like I was watching a movie called. Um, well, I think it was on week three. I was watching Primal Fear, and um, um, and uh, Edward Norton was in it, and he plays like a schizophrenic, um, uh, like he plays a schizophrenic victim, but he will change his name to like his schizophrenic demon was Roy. To Aaron, yeah, his original name was Aaron. I think I believe Aaron in the, in the the movie, but he changed his name to Roy. So he would be this nice like innocent man to like, and then. Like the therapist will keep on talking, talk to him, tell him like what happened, like how do you, why did you kill these people, and he will change, and change to Roy, and Roy's like this huge, mean, aggressive guy, and he tells him like Aaron's not here right now, you gotta speak to me, I'm Roy right here, and I'm like what the fuck, so like <laughs> things like that, like I, I like I will, um, I'd say then another good one for you would be split. Yeah, split too, like it's it's all split, like different personalities. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll do, uh, yeah. I'll, um, it's. And um, I kind of motivate myself throughout that week, like watch different different movies that relate to that, and I'll like different like kind of like psycho movies. Like you you just get into. So I, I think that's what Merrick was telling us last night. He watches like he gets inspiration from, like of course Heath Ledger's Joker, mm -hmm. Signs of the Lambs, you Science know, of the Lambs uh, is another one, Hannibal Lecter, of mm -hmm. course, and. Uh, you know, The Shining and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people, and this is another one a lot of people don't even really think about because it's not even considered a horror movie. If you watch Fight Club. Fight Club is, yeah. Fight Ed Club. Norton the entire time has seen, Same scene. has seen freaking, uh, what's his name, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. It's all in his head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's that's another one too. It's like in his head, like he's been, like seeing another, it's a Frank. And then, um, but um, I was watching like weird things like, the Sixth Sense, because <laughs> like he's like dead the whole time. Yeah. Not to spoil the movie or anything, but he's dead the whole time. <laughs> but like it was a long time. time. Yeah, if you haven't it's seen like, it within it's like twenty yeah, years, it's been out. Yeah, it's been out, out for a while. Um, but he's like dead the whole time. But like he's talking to these people, but no one's talking to him. So he's just like, why? Yeah. <laughs> but like um, you kind of get those inspirations to get those whole bunch of ideas. Um, he's sort of going reading on like other like I, like characters like from like. Um, comics or like any other like any other shows. You a geek? Um, yeah, like it'll, yeah, I big. Too. I'm a I'm a huge Marvel fan and I'm a huge. Um, I'm actually kind of a wrestling fan too. I just got into it. <laughs> yeah. What are you? What are you? What are you, what are you into? Um, WWE. WWE. Yeah. AEW. Yeah, AEW. AEW. AEW NXT. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I think I just you you went up like so much notches that we look after here. Yeah. That, you know what, it, it, we're gonna have to bring you down to the studio one day. Merrick walked in. And he goes, "I'm so jealous of this room. There's Funko Pops everywhere. What? I got like posters. I got Freddy glove. I got Negan's bat. Oh gosh. I got." I got a freaking, I recently, and we used it in Carly's podcast, I got the uh, Iron Man helmet with the punch of skull. Yeah, I saw that. That's that was, really that's cool. That's like my pride and joy. <laughs> you know, I was actually watching one of your, your your videos, and I saw, I was looking in the background, I was like, wait, I did not just see that, did I? And I re-watched it a few times, and I looked, a glimpse of it, it was the 
it was the world champion WWE. Yeah. I was like, you, <laughs> you yeah. fool. I was uh, like, I was like, he's a wrestling fan. I know it. I, then, I very much am. We we talk about it every week. <laughs> yeah. Looks like we're gonna be hanging out a lot after Hong Kong. Well, yeah, every every time if you want to hang out on Wednesdays, man. NXT, AEW, <laughs> get the pay per views going. Yeah, on. Goes, going on. My roommate's actually a really big fan of it. it he he got me into it, looking for it. He, he just told me everything. Like he's such he he's like such a huge knowledge of it. But man, this this hostile character, man, we can't thank you enough for bringing this character. Yeah. Life. It's it's something that every night of the event, um, it's one of the characters I would always look out for. I'd always mm -hmm. want to look out for because, and this was the thing with me and, and and Sammy is we didn't want to leave Ghost Town because we were afraid we were going to miss something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And part of that was because of this character. Yeah, I felt like, and, and, and I felt like if I if I were to leave, I was going to miss an argument. With I was gonna mm -hmm. miss you interacting with someone else. I was mm -hmm. gonna miss you getting someone scared. So shit was like one of the funniest scares we saw with you, that you did on a closing night is you made some kid in front of Birdcage <laughs> jump over the rope. <laughs> yes, shit. I was gonna say something. I, yeah, we saw that. <laughs> and so I, know I, I know stuff. it's hostile. You gotta stay in character, but dude, I would've been dying. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was so funny because that kid was backing up and he was in the corner where the this we, the. The wagon was at, and then he he was like, "Oh no, I gotta get out of here!" And he jumps and he clips over the the rope and he falls over flat face on, <laughs> on the oh, ground, God. and then I'm just looking like I'm fucking dipping out, <laughs> I'm leaving, and then um, and you thought I was crazy. I was like, yeah. I was crazy, but, uh, but yeah, you get you get just moments like that. We have the I think moments like that happen on. Saturday with our busiest night was like um, I think that last Saturday um, of that event was just who we got people and that's what I kept hearing but for me and him it didn't feel busy it wasn't as much it was like about I think we, we didn't have like as um, over budget as we had, we weren't the busiest as our first I think our first or second um, Saturday because I think our first or second, I think our second Saturday was our busiest night. Or, mm -hmm. or I think, our third, I'm not sure, but... I know that the Saturday before that was pretty fucking busy. Mm -hmm. Saturday before, yeah, before Halloween. We, we showed up at like 9 because uh, we went to like a home on before to check it out. Mm -hmm. And um, we showed up at like 9 and it took us like an hour just to park. Mm -hmm. And then we got into the park and it was just flooded with people. Yeah. And I was like, alright. Yeah. Was that on Friday? It was on Saturday. Saturday. Oh, okay. and, and I was like, okay, there's not going to be a lot of character, you know, interactions, shenanigans tonight. They're going to be constantly on the move just because of the sole right. fact of I know when it's packed, you got to be on the move. Mm -hmm. you, there's yeah. no time to really hang around the spot just to the do fact. The sole purpose of people going to try to come up to you. Right. Um, that's the, I was a whole thing. It was just like we have, we have these nights where it just gets constantly busy. And you just, you're, you're on the move. You're, you're not, you can't just stand there just, think that it's gonna you're gonna interact just from people walking by it's like there's people crowding through people and you're gonna shoulder check and you're, I'm like that's the opportunity for me just like this is a great moment where I'm like dodging left and right and like scaring people um, it's like that's the best thing it's just for me I'm so fortunate to have from my character it's just it's constantly on this uh, adrenaline rush to move Left and right, but like not only that, but I get to like scare left and right from people constantly. Mm -hmm. It's just this man that that's how I think of it. <laughs> so was was your favorite scare the guy falling over the rope in birdcage, or do you have another favorite scare this year? Um, I I, that's, that's a tough question. It's a tough question because there was a lot. Um, I I think the the um, best one I seen was I think the second to last night. Was um, me and we and, and main gate was me and um, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the goat, um, Adrian. Oh, he wears like the nice vest and everything. Nice right? vest yeah. and yeah. He always rolls with the mayor, right? And the mayor, yep, yeah. yeah. He's um, a great guy. He's um, has a great character as well. He, me and him, and we were like scaring, and then we scared like a group of these girls that were just like, and we kept on. They kept on running, but we kept on like scaring them, and then they all flood down to um guest services but the employee side the employee entrance they all flood inside and then like you see the employee 
that he was just like, what's, guys, you guys gotta get out. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, and then they all like crossed through, but like, that was another one. I think like more, like some of them make, like some of them were coming from main gate. Like, um, I have a, uh, there was another one named, uh, uh, the farmer, the, I think, or he's a farmer or a gardener, but his name is Jay Alvarez. Grace Slayer is well, great, great character. Um, we're just scaring this group of people, but like it was behind where like the photo booth and the other building and the middle yeah. of main gate. Like there's kind of near that like sign area where they had the non scary farm, or um, it's on the other side on the like going like I know where the photo booth is at. Yeah, the photo the photo booth is at it's like right there, but yeah. there was this like there's this like. It's like a narrow, little, kind of little gap, yeah, dead end, right? Yeah, gap, but but it's like a dead end, narrow place. But like we were scaring this group of people, and I I I turn around and then Jay comes in, and I was just laying. I let I actually went up to I was saw him. I was like, here you go, <laughs> go there you go. That's all yours. And then um, he scared them, and then we and then I they were like pushing back, and I just went ran and slapped my plates on the ground they just they all started to, all eight of them started to cringe inside that corner oh. and they were just all of them you see all of them stuck in that corner just like like their hands <laughs> sticked out and we just me and she would just look like we would uh, i could stop laugh. i wouldn't want to laugh but it looked but like that was probably like damn that was was one of our good moments yeah, um cool. but yeah i've had i've had a lot of great great moments of um people like would like be really tough like had teenagers being really tough on me and i would turn around i slam my plates right in front of them and they just they uh because they will come up right behind me like hey man what's up you're good what are you gonna do i turn around i slam my plates and they fall down like <laughs> constantly um i've had that moment there's, but um yeah, there's just been so many great moments with you and that's why yeah. That's why when we decided to do something like this to have the opportunity to showcase scare actors who had an amazing year, who had great stories to share, who had just the amazing presence. Um, it was just something that we wanted to just, that's why we're calling it Scare Actor Appreciation Month because I feel not a lot of, I don't think anyone does this. No, this is the first time I've ever seen you guys do this and this is very, we're, we're very glad that you guys are doing because this is, makes us want to keep on doing what we do. It's like we, you know, people like not just only like people draw pictures or of us or they 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 give up they send messages us saying like you're you're a great character out there. I want to become just like you or or um, like they try to give out advice and then just then all of a sudden um, you see but you see them uh, what you call it like they but they have things like this like uh, like podcasts or they want to like know what they are they want to know a whole story like i the like, appreciation like that it just brings me joy saying like i I've, I've done my part i've done my part Definitely. really good i've done my work we i have actually and this is i because I, I messaged one of the characters we're, we're having from queen mary come down i don't look at you guys as characters i look at you guys more as my heroes yeah. And, and it's more in the fact of a like, psycho hero. Psycho hero. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just more in the fact that, as big as a horror fan as I am, I look at characters like you. I look at characters like Merrick, uh, Lucy, and Billy. Mm. Um, you know, all these different characters: the She Wolf, Orphan, all these characters, and I see them inspiration from different horror movies. Yeah. And it's just it's bringing a lot of the stuff that I've loved to life. I'm getting to experience it, and it, that's why I call you guys my heroes, because how many events in the world, I mean, it's starting to grow now, but like, when these things first started, there wasn't very many stuff like this, you know what I mean? Like, there wasn't stuff where you could go get, you know, pay to get scared, pay to interact with the characters, pay to go through mazes mm -hmm. and stuff, you know? Yeah. And I, and we, we, we're gonna say it every damn show, and you know what I'm gonna say right now, we're gonna say it every fucking podcast we do. Knots is the greatest fucking con show in the world. That's right. Yeah. And uh, it's strictly due to the fact to characters like Hoss, yeah. like Merrick, the clowns, um, the hollow scarecrows, yeah. you know, people in mazes, the people, they don't get a lot of recognition, people behind the scenes who put on this show. You know, people yeah. who, you know, lighting, sound, 
building the mazes, designing the mazes, writing the mazes, makeup, costuming. Uh, you know, the people who you don't see on stage yeah. work just as hard as these guys right here. Yeah, we, um, you know, I'm, that, that's why I'm so fortunate to come and be part of like, you know, here, be part of Knots, because, you know, it, you like, you kind of, I, I, I never, and I'm the type of guy that never knew about anything about Pawn. Like, I never knew anything about it. And I, um, I was at, um, you know, I was at a, uh, at acting class one day, and there's this guy named Johnny Warner was in my class, and he became what he was, he which played Slenderman, and, um, back in like years, uh, years ago in, uh, at Pawn, at Ghost Town. And he, like, told me like you have a great talent and I want yeah, you should try out for um should, for knots and I'm like I don't know what the hell is that I don't, <laughs> want, I don't want to be part of that but like um because I used to be scared I used to be scared of like knots and like I think everyone has that experience before <laughs> I used to yeah. be like, scared when we I first yeah we, we uh, both had that experience mm -hmm. man 2008 my first year when I was in fifth grade and then last two hours and I left mm. yeah I I actually lasted about when I when I went in 2007 when the grudge and board team was there. Um, I lasted about at least an hour or half hour, I think. I don't know, I, I had to leave because I was so terrified. Um, now I'm like an adrenaline junkie, yeah, I just, I want more. Yeah. I mm -hmm. just, every yeah. year, just, you know, whatever Candyman has in his fucking syringes, yeah. fill me up with it. <laughs> fill me up, man. Speaking of that, did you see the dual Candyman? Yeah, show? I saw that, that fool, man. I, I've been asking every scare, <laughs> so I want to know what their thoughts I, are. Okay, so. I thought it was hilarious. I know, it, it, it's a, it, that was a funny thing to do. So, it was, uh, actually a funny story that happened. I was just, I just got done. I was just wash. I was washing up, and then they were still going out there. And I was just, like, washing my face. And then after I was, like, panning down they all came across and then no choke they all they all like stopped and they all turned around at the same time and saw me <laughs> they, they were like standing but this was in the warehouse <laughs> the warehouse p they were just standing there and they all just turned around at the same time and then i was like uh, <laughs> uh, and that was it and they all just walked out but i thought it was a great i thought, I thought it was hilarious because there was one actually i think i don't know if she was a makeup artist or a scare actor but she was she was right that she worked there and she goes i already am scared of one candy man mm -hmm. yet alone too this is a nightmare that's just coming yeah up. i was like that's what it says on the jersey yeah people people get like terrified of like this and he's uh um uh milk his name like me and him like we're are very good friends and he's such a like um i a great a great actor over there he's I, I don't know how he uh does it too he but he um the de he developed that character for a while and i thought it was such a unique way of doing it too because yeah. like those are those are another unique characters that you see out there mm -hmm. um i love the top hat i love the cane he's got even mm -hmm. wind chimes on mm -hmm. there which are great yeah it's like it's the keys, the, the for keys. keys. Yeah. oh no are you talking about what i like, <laughs> talk, yeah he took one of the actual characters he was hanging out after and he hit his keys on top of like one of the buildings <laughs> and like an hour later the guy comes and he shows him the keys i was like oh yeah it's been there for like the last hour <laughs> I was just laughing. Uh, yeah. It was yeah, that's great. No, yeah, but it's, I don't know, man. It, we, uh, there's just something about this year that we've had so much mm -hmm. fun that we've never had at any haunt. Mm -hmm. I mean, it shows you. We, we came 20 times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and we just, we just love the characters. And when we, when we, like I said, when we decided to do this, it started with four, and then we just branched out and started getting a lot of people. Yeah, and that that's the best thing. Like you just you see other you see other Han events that they have to stick with one thing, and then they have to stick to like um, like horror nights for sure. It's like have to stick to one like one or two characters or like a few of them. But they have to stick to the idea of character. For us, like we can bring anything that relates to the town, the scare zone, and. They, as long as it's acceptable, you just like, you know, you can bring out there and like, you can fulfill that. You can. And that shows a lot of how people are creative too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, that's the creativity of us. Like, that's the best thing of, of Knots is that the creativity is so high that we can, like, we can make up anything in that town. We can, we can bring in anything to that, to Ghost Town, the Hollows, um, to Carnival, to like, you know, built a character that could be anything it could be such it could be a very iconic character it could be 
this like a uh, character that's once it's good for one time and then you know you can try you can try something else like yeah. you just keep on constantly and constantly like that's the main that's the best thing i i love working there is just the create creativity um that people have and the stories too like they, yeah. they bring up to it. it's like great i love it well go ahead. i got one final question here <laughs> um what would you what would your advice be to uh, uh, those who aspire to become scar actors one day um for people like that, I would say, um, I know like AJ said, um, to have a thick skin. Um, people have, you have to learn about the crowd for one. Two, um, I say, I, and um, I say start off somewhere that if you start off with a maze, you start off from there. Yeah. Or if you, and um, me, I was very, I was uh, very, uh, not to, brag about it, but I was very blessed enough to be part of like being a start from streets. I was starting from, I did, um, uh, I did scare force during the time when it was called and I was, and I was in streets and then they kept me putting me in ghost town. And, um, that's how I finally got to be in there in the past, like years and years. Um, but you know, like, and then the, the but that part of me is like going like, man, I wish I would have started in mazes because like i like people like have started there um you like there are here to this day like you have people like um like aj started there the glow started from like um from a maze merrick, and did, too, merrick yeah. did too and like there's there's you know i i'm very am um i respect those people highly because they they started somewhere to like to somewhere small to somewhere huge not a yeah. huge character now um i think that's the best thing i think sorry from that um you know i still research the best you can from you you know like you want to you want the advice from not only from uh people who have done it for so long um but like people that are, are in videos that have like you know that that show it that show it, that show the idea of what what scare actor can be um I, I i say do that then um but mostly like the thick the being the have the thick skin because uh, and have the mindset be you have to be open to a lot because like if if you don't get the scare zone that you want like i people like i and i've done it that was for seven years and people have wanted like oh i want ghost sounds so bad but, Everyone's gonna go on one. Yeah, that's one just, That's a staple. Yeah, everybody just wants that ghost mm -hmm. Yeah, and they, but they say like, oh, I got Carnival, I got, or I got the Hollows, or I mean, I got CS, um, or I got to Amaze. I'm like, just like, but they're disappointed. I'm like, don't, don't be like, be, be fortunate that you actually got into this, this top, um, this top haunted place in the world. Yeah, people talk about. And there's like thousands of people who go try out every mm -hmm. single year. Yeah, there's yeah. thousands of thousands of people who try out and you're one of them that got in. Yeah. They picked you. They yeah. don't they, they're not gonna they're not gonna say like we wanna put there because like, you know, we don't have enough people. No, like we picked you because you're talented. Yeah. But you want we want you we think you're talented, but we want you to start up some from somewhere cause small. Yeah. Start from somewhere uh, simple. I like I said, mazes are the best ones to start I, off. With. I, and I've, we've talked to a lot of the scare actors, and they said the same thing. Like mazes is where you freaking mm. that's where you get the knowledge. Yeah, and I, you know what? To. Yeah, exactly. And then I feel like for and then me, like I'm I'm not the like I said, I'm not the best to know for like how mazes start because I didn't like I said I didn't start from mazes, but like I know for the fact from what I've been learn I've been learning from others is that mazes are the best place to start Definitely. and they get you 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 learn from like you learn from just not to become a, uh to how to scare but to like to how what um mazes work and uh, versus being part of a scare zone which is open wide mm -hmm. you're open you know you're not in some cubicle or some like same spot every five ten seconds or yeah. a minute you know yeah but um that i i think those like people have like I'm very fortunate those people have been around there, like the, the start from the smallest to the biggest. Definitely.
Do you want me to do my questions? Yeah, you got a couple questions we can yeah, do. Yeah, I, let's I, see. I, I, let's I finish it off with a couple of your questions. Let's finish it off with a few of my questions, yeah. Uh, I got, um, um, so there's this, uh, I have a friend that's been a huge fan of what I do. Her name is Jordan, Jordan Drake, which um, <laughs> she, she says, Hashtag hot, hot for host, hostel, hot for hostel, and there's been a there's <laughs> been a, a few pictures of me, of my character, but it says hashtag hot for hostel, and um, um, let's see, oh yeah, what would you tag team, and then uh, for instance like pig twins or chickens or do you stay solo, what uh, what can you see in a partner, um. I, what I would like to be around with is, um, I would love to be back with Death. Yeah. I think like me and Death have been like me and uh, Michael Bates has been like which, me and Bates are uh, I'll say along we're really good friends and he, as uh, me and him get along with our characters so well that we can run and we can do so. Like, well, especially so, as you were telling us, it goes with the lore of your character. It does. It yeah. does. As you see, like, um, you see the pic, the the origin picture, is the best thing that Mackenzie Crow has drew out of this whole year. It's me, like, in the window, but you see him right there, and like, and uh, as Death's character, because it just involves with that whole idea with our story especially it's, with this year being the origins and everything mm -hmm. like it's, it's, yeah. it's perfect it's it goes so well yeah so um yeah that's the like for me and then that and then also um um i, I don't know I, I feel like you and orphan would be a freaking fun duo yeah that would be a fun that would be a fun fan dude. Uh, we, only because like she is more of like she's a dead little girl and she's like she all she wants to do is play but she's got a little bit of that crazy side yeah there. and you're just full on and saying i did see a couple of uh, nights where you would go and interact with her. Yeah, me and her would interact like, like, you know that one night when I, I wanted to grab her doll and like, like, kick mess it. with, kick it or something <laughs> and mess with it. She's like, no, no, you did it, you did it before you broke it, yeah. which is actually a true story. I did break it. <laughs> and, uh, doll. And, uh, doll. Last year, I, me and her, we, uh, we did a, um, there's a picture, me and her, um, me, me and her pulling her doll back and forth. We were seeing in and stuff, we are just like, pulling each other back and forth um and we just like then i grabbed it and i was just like messing with it then i i kept i gra i grabbed the legs and i slammed it but her face was right there and i didn't know i heard this click but i didn't know i thought the the holes blasted and then she goes and there was like this huge chip on the head and she goes like <laughs> Because we went backstage, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know I was, I was like, this is probably so expensive. She goes, no, it's just, you just broke it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, you're fine. We'll, 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 I'll fix it. I'll glue it somehow or something. I was like, oh my God, I feel so bad. She's so, done some of the most insane shit we've seen this year. Yeah. She's a great, another great character that's developed. Um, me, me and Ruth are um, like another, another great friend of mine, me and her, um, She's just this night the nicest person I've I've met to over the years at Haunt. Um and a great character over at, at Decay Brigade too. Like I thought I I think that's That's, that's where I first really saw her was mm -hmm. at a Midsummer Scream this year. She was part of the show. Mm -hmm. And that whole I think that whole group Decay Brigade though is very talented. A lot of very talented people. A lot people. of talented people. Yeah. And we I uh, I've I I I've been uh, fortunate to become like great a uh, few friends of them. I'm surprised uh, you haven't joined. Is that something you just not into? Um <laughs> you don't want to label No, right I just never I never even asked. I just you know like I if I was asked I would I would probably think about it. I would probably be like, I, I don't know, like would you want the same character or would you want someone that doesn't slide as much over at Ghost Town do it. Decay, you watching? Yeah, Decay, <laughs> I guess you watching, you know, come, in, come by, we'll talk maybe. No, I would, um, I, I honestly never been asked, and I, you know what, that's that's totally okay with me. I'm not, I'm not the one that's gonna beg and say, I want to be part of Decay, I don't really, uh, cause I've, um, well, sadly I've heard stories of <laughs> people why it's a George Decay so badly, but you have to audition for it, and there's a whole process of it. 
which and um, I only um, but really I respect for is um, my my buddy Chase, which is the mummy. Um, me and him are very very close friends. Like he's like a he's like a brother to me. Um, and been there for the me from my hardest times to like to the greatest. But he's um, he. But like I respect him for what he does. For what he's put he puts one hundred ten percent that and that um, to that team. So um, yeah, I love to. But I would I don't know. I would never. I, I would say like until they say something, then we're up for discussion. Just just expect your inbox to probably have to yeah, this podcast. They're like, like, they're like, like, oh, we didn't even know he was interested. Yeah, we were interested. Like, hey. <laughs> now, but I hear what you're saying. It's not something that like you're going to go and beg for. Mm -hmm. But if the opportunity arose, you'd probably like, yeah, think about it. Yeah, think something. about it. It's it's up for discussion. Now, because I, 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 I really, I, I, I bet you can't. I just doubt. Uh, your character doesn't really do a lot of like long sliding. Mm -hmm. It's more of just kind of like the short stuff. I mean, yeah. are, are you, you know how to do all that, though? Like, yeah, I'm like, very, um, I, I've, I've learned. I've done it for um, I've learned the whole um, slime basics from like um, when even before I had this um, character before I had hostile um, this I've learned how to like jump and how to do like the um, there's a lot there's a whole lot of sliding techniques but I got to be um, be glad that I got to learn all that before you know that I even happened and I always take the slime test though and um, but I don't I rarely slide well i mean because i think with your thing it's like dude like, like i said short slides it's much what aj does mm -hmm. out there as the barber he when he goes for a skin yeah. he does kind of like a quick slide and yeah slide. that's uh, that's um you'll see me like if you see me do that that's like i've seen it done like think once or twice once or twice yeah that's probably one it's like him probably the only times i've done it yeah <laughs> they're like i always i i i've only done it just those few times because i just it comes out of a moment, just a, in the moment where I'm, I see a guest and I'm like, oh, there you go, I'll do a slide, and like you're just in the open area. Um, well, I mean, it's good to, that you do do the slider test because it's like if you ever wanted to utilize it one night for some reason, you're just bored, you want to try something new. Right. You have that ability to do it. Yeah, and so. that's the thing too. Like I passed, I passed, the, I went to go up and do the sliding test, passed it because not only that, I can use that, um, I have that ability to do that, and also. Um, I really don't have to get yelled at for being on the ground so much on my knees because they're they're like, well, he didn't slide, he didn't do the slime test. I'm like, well, I did. I did. <laughs> I have my knee pads, and I and that that will make me wear my my knee pads that I have today, because I um because I need those for being on the ground so much. Yeah. Um, Especially which, when you're on the ground rocking and like crying. Yeah, so rocking that. and crying. Um, which that that's the whole idea of being a silent character. Yeah. I I want that I wanted that no matter what to be me like saying crisscross and just rocking back and forth. Um, I've done it for like the I would do it for the longest time for the longest minutes and or I'll do it for like a short amount of minutes. But like I no matter what as that character that's always involved they will they will always probably recognize me as that character. <laughs> See me doing that. Like, they're like hey, you're that character that walks rocks back and forth and. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, or it talks to himself. I'm like, yeah, I'm that, that guy. <laughs> that's something like how we, at least for me, I can say, that's how I became noticed, or how, how I began to notice you is mm. you were out in front of the Ghost Rider queue, or no, out of the exit of Ghost Rider, mm. and you were just kept going to yeah. that. And the group would come around you, and then came to scream. Yeah, that's how I, um, that, that's when the queue has stopped too, and that's how, because <laughs> I, I that kind of room that that's when it's kind of good and at the same time it's kind of like oh man you ruined the moment too <laughs> you know but like i um i'm i i get so in i will get so into it i'll stop i go back and forth and you don't realize until like people are watching i'm like oh shit, well, that's my cue leave <laughs> and i'll scare and go take off but um yeah that's like that's one thing i wanted people to recognize is like seeing me saying they're insanely just rocking back and forth and having my my arms tucked in and then like saying rambling about rambling a bunch a bunch of words because it's kind of like hostels like going insane it doesn't know what to do because he's like he's needs to go west definitely but he doesn't he's know where he doesn't know where it, it west is he yeah. doesn't know where like he doesn't know who to talk to who, who why like uh, why um is why is the way the way he is today i mean for his character 
just like and then he just it's it makes him go insane mm -hmm. but he this other guy this other person saying like well he has control <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but that that's the best part of it the recognizable well hostile I mean it's been a great season I, we've enjoyed watching you work we you. brought you onto the show because I wanted to know so much about your character, and I felt like I've learned just so much within. Yeah, I can, yeah, I, can agree yeah. With you. I can honestly talk to you literally all night. Yeah, we can I film an eight-hour. We podcast. can we can film we can go with another whole another podcast that yeah. would be like another. I mean, uh, like I said, and I've been telling all the other characters. I mean, even if you guys are bored throughout you know the rest of the year. Yeah. We're always here. Mm -hmm. You got your more than welcome back on the show. Yeah. Or if you just want to hang out and watch wrestling. Yes. We're all yeah. for that. Yeah, I'm all for that too. I'm ready for that. SummerSlam, whenever you want to, I'm ready. SummerSlam. <laughs> we got AEW yeah. pay per view this weekend. It's going to yeah. be a good one. Um, um, but no, man, you are truly one, a down earth fucking cool guy. And yeah. We are glad to have known you. We're glad to call you a friend. Thank you so much. Um, thank you guys. You guys you. are great for like what you guys do. We appreciate you. this. Like I said, we're very, we're very, uh, <clears throat> this is why we're here and we're, we won't, we do what we do. And you guys like, you guys like you are, um, that love to watch us is makes us like uh, love our jobs better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, like I said, man, I mean, we weren't expecting to get a lot of the heavy hitter characters that we got. You, mm -hmm. Merrick, mm -hmm. Billy, Lucy, um, Ruth, you know, She Wolf and all of them. I mean, we really are very just so humble that everyone is just really like cool, awesome, yeah. and wanting to come on and share their stories because, like I said, I don't think I've seen anything out here like this. Like you said, you've only gotten messages and art, which is really cool yeah. stuff. I mean, people to go out of their way to send you that message or draw you that piece yeah. of art of your character is freaking awesome. Yeah. Um, and I just thought since I had the podcast, I would love to go out of my way and just bring a lot of these characters on just to talk moments, who their characters are. I don't even know how we're going to do it next year now that we know who they are. I mean, next yeah. year is just going to be straight, straight stories. Straight stories. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like that, yeah, that's a, like the thing is what like this, like, so I didn't start off with like this whole popularity with like this character. I just start off with just being, it's just a development, like even 2017 when that's like my whole golden, I call it my golden year because um, I, I went through a very bad uh, phase with um, that whole before Haunt started, but it ended up being good because I won Monster of the Year for this character. And I, yeah. That's when I Much knew. deserved. Yeah, I mean. but thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. That, that's when I said, uh, this is like who I want, I'm going to be, um, there I'll go stand. And, um, but they, but you know, like I, I just, I don't know, like that's when like two, that's when like this year, like 2018 was much then like from like today it just goes to like people actually knowing what I do. Yeah. yeah. And you just like, you start getting messages and seeing people going like, Hey, I remember you, you're, you're hostile. You're, you're the guy, you're the guy with a blind, it's always the guy with a blindfold. <laughs> yeah. Like you're the guy with a blindfold, huh? Like, or, um, you're the crazy guy. I'm like, okay, yeah, then, but um, people like draw for you or like, you know, say, say, a, a, say the nicest things to you, like saying like, you know, like I'm, I get really inspired. Like I, I want to know like what, how does this get involved? Like what do you do? Like I will say your character this year, cause we are planning on doing a home haunt next year. Um, and your character was basically a big inspiration as to <laughs> some characters that we were thinking about doing. Yeah, and that, that's the best thing. I think I've had, um, you know, I talked to uh, the Jesse Escalante, which is the, the street rat, mm -hmm. and he uh, he because he's part of, he was part of the Cading. He um, had there was an asylum thing that they did, and he said, uh, "Well, there was two people. There was one guy that got involved, but there was you that like really ins uh, inspired me to go do this whole put the belts and like and the like, act insane and all that whole idea. It's like I got the whole care like the whole idea was from your character. I was like." I was like amazed, and I would just barely know this kid, and me and him are been good friends ever He's since. Such a nice person. So, the yeah. nicest person ever too. We yeah. we always we always have fun out there. He's like my pet rat out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was we we call it a ghost town, but yeah, he's the he's the nicest guy ever. But uh, um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a fun year, man, and we like I said, we're just more than happy to have you yeah. on. Yeah, I'm really appreciate it. It's been a really fun year for like for what I I think this is. I say it and I, and you know, like I, I say it now, I say it in the beginning when Haunt was 
uh, this this year with what was going on, I, and I say it now that um, I felt like it was like 2017 again. Mm -hmm. It was just like the I energy felt like this, was just there. Man. Energy yeah. was just great, and I felt like it, this was such a, a, a great season. Not only because of the rookies that are out there, like, they, they did hard work, and they I uh, which I thank them all because they they were just ast uh, I, I astounding. It was just so great. Um, you know, the fact that I got to do so much of this character more and um, be more active um, throughout the year. So um, that it's just, I I think it so much. So yeah, I, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> love no, it so we, we really thank you for doing what you do. We appreciate you as this character because it, we know this is not the easiest job in the world. I mean, you go out there having to deal with sometimes a rude crowd, sometimes a tough crowd, mm -hmm. but in the end of the day, you, you come back and keep doing it because you love doing it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. without you guys, there wouldn't be a show like this to go on. Yeah. And there wouldn't be stuff for us to go and check out. And we, we love it every year. We appreciate you guys mm -hmm. as characters. That's why we are doing character appreciation. Yeah, thank just, you. Just to thank you guys, to hear your guys' stories, to hear the backstories of these characters, hmm. and we I gave out a lot. So yeah, yeah, yeah. now you know who Hostel is. is. Yeah, and when is you go to the when you go to the event, don't look at him like some freaking just random crazy yeah. guy. <laughs> know that there's a story behind there's the madness. There's a story by the madness. He's experienced cool. love and he's experienced he's lost. lost. <laughs> and I experienced insanity. So and he's got a cousin who just hates him. Yeah, yeah. Him, so. yeah. Fucking Merrick, dude. Yeah. So. The <laughs> plan is next year to have you guys both on at the same time. Yeah, it was all, he told me, uh, that was, he told me about that he wants yeah. us to be both involved because I think we will have such a funnier, like, funny stories with each other. I could just see you guys going back and forth and bouncing off each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, at that point, it's their podcast. It's not yeah. just like, we're just going to sit there and just, uh, just throw listen questions. To, uh, just throw questions left and right. Just literally throw questions at each other. We'll just say it. And we'll like, we we'll are like, well, you first. Well, I'm no, oh, you first. Like, oh. <laughs> then we'll be like, we would. Then we, they're gonna get in character right there. They would get in character right then. <laughs> there, we're like, then that's what we argue. But um, yeah, we we we're such a we have such a duo with each other that we we that's how we get along. Each other is just like that's and that's how we we you know, tearing up with that. So that's, that's the fun of it. Love it. Is there anything you'd like to plug in before we uh, sign off for tonight? Um, like social media is there anything? Uh, well. I don't. Uh, I don't do the. Um, I don't have a separate social media. Um, I just don't do it. I don't. I don't. Don't think it's like my whole. I think. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't do the whole uh, GTS ride or GTS Billy. I just. I don't. Maybe I will one day if I decide. But like, I just right now it's just R U F F U four. Um, um, give shout out to. Um, to my buddy Aaron Frame, because he wanted me to shout him out, dude. Aaron. Aaron, right shout there, man. Shout out to man. you, buddy. Oh, dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, dude. I love that guy. I love that guy to all my heart. He's like the, the one of the greatest, closest friends. I used to, me and him used to rock. We used to <laughs> rock the crap out of uh, Ghost Town. He was the possum back in the day with me and him. He just, um, I don't know, I like with. With him and his um, guys, which is, I don't know where I'll be at in his friendship. Um, um, I, I don't know, I would say um, that, like, follow, follow all these, like, other characters. I mean, they're, they're these other character blogs that I do. Um, uh, my, my, by the way, my, I want to, it's a whole odd subject out of Haunt, but um, my sister, I want to say um, my sister is doing a Disney blog. I know you Disney folks out there are really big fans. There's a lot of this big fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she does a Disney uh, blog called um, the, at, at This Is Our Neverland, and uh, she's successfully has been doing so good at it. Um, I want to. It's my sister Melissa. I'm just gonna give her a big shout out for that. And also, she's doing another one. Um, she's doing like photo edits, like make. It's called Second Star Second Star Preset. So. If you ever uh, follow this sort of Neverland, you'll eventually find um, this second star preset. She just started, I would say follow her, as she does very photo edits of like Disney and all that. If you guys are really into that, but she's um, like, I, um, I- I'll have you uh, text me the links, I'll leave them in the box. Yeah, so yeah, I'll leave, yeah, that would, that would be the thing uh, to check out. But other than that, I would Disney say that, that that's a, a Disney fan. But other than that, um, um, I would say for, I don't know, like, 
it's it's been a really good season. It's really I've been really great. I love I appreciate you guys for like doing uh, taking your time out of your your day because we don't ask you for that. You guys do it for yourselves. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. and that's exactly what I was saying. I yeah. told this guy on the way here. I was like, we're not getting paid to do this. I'm doing this because I sincerely just love doing mm-hmm. it. Yeah. I want to get to know these characters. I want to get to know yeah. their stories and. Yeah. I just I think this was one of the greatest things that uh, we came up with. Mm-hmm. Me and him were just sitting one night, and we were just like, we need to, these guys need to be, know, they need to know that they're appreciated. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure they get messages and stuff. Yeah. That's, yeah, I mean, that's that's, yeah. that's one form of flattery, but we yeah. have a podcast. Let's, let's utilize yeah, that. You get, and then, uh, and, uh, very, that, that's, that's a great thing. And then you get to know people like us, like, and then that outside of home, you get to know who we really are, and we, we build friendship. We just don't just we don't just go out and scare and like leave out the day we're yeah. we're friends outside of haunt. Like I'm like I, I say uh, I've said before we were airing up. I'm very fortunate to be um, you know like uh, we don't just go outside on just scare and then like like I said outside haunt we don't go out and just like leave out day. We're very good close friends and I say like um, me and Glow have been like. Very close friends. I've been very fortunate to be uh, a good friend of hers. We got to know each other very well, and I'm very glad that we. Um, um, she's and I very shout out to her too. She's been very um, um, not the nicest person, but the greatest scare um, uh, monster out there. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate her very much. She's me and her go <laughs> very competitive sometimes, but we very but we do it such a good friend uh, friendly way. We we it's a little friendly to, competition. Friendly competition. We like and then. Uh, She's such a great fan. I love her very much for what she does. Um, but um, on that, like I uh, will appreciate you guys doing that. Other people, so like, uh, but yeah, I thank you guys so oh, much. No, we uh, we we're, like I said, we were shocked too, that we could, that we had the opportunity to interview you. Mm-hmm. It was just something that yeah. I knew from, and he called it. I was gonna be this was gonna be the one that I really wanted to, <laughs> to talk to. I had so uh, many questions. You, and, I mean, you got it. You got your got your it, your, yeah. mess, your 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 wish has been granted. Uh, the hospital again. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. been a pleasure, and we can't wait to have you on next year. Thank you so um, much. Or guys. if you want to come on anytime, talk horror. Yes, anytime. Anytime. Um, Thank you guys for watching another episode of Scarecrow Appreciation Month. Be sure to keep tuning in because we got way. We're only halfway through this and we got a lot more awesome guests coming on. Um, and of course, go support events like Not Scary Farm, all the haunts in SoCal, um, because without people like Hostel, without you know all these scare actors, these shows wouldn't be what they were. With an audience like you to scare, um, and they love doing that. So go support them, go get scared, go have a good time, just don't be stupid. <laughs> um, of course, follow us on social media to be um, to get a little behind the scenes look of how we do these, or you know, just you know, if you want to see what we're up to, social media, Twitter at Knights of Horror and Instagram at The Knights of Horror. And if you're feeling a little extra generous, uh, donate on Patreon and see all the amazing stuff uh, you can get. I think Hostel would fit in a lot of those categories of uh, of uh, Maybe certified yeah. inmate, <laughs> in, <laughs> certified inmate, uh, <laughs> certified insane. I mean. <laughs> Our, our, our motto on, on the Knights of Horror is uh, welcome to the madhouse. Hey. So we, uh, that's kind of our thing. Um, what starts, <laughs> what usually starts a lot of our videos is you hear the Joker saying that line, welcome to the madhouse, Mad from the Batman Arkham Asylum game. So, nice. um, but no, we, we are fortunate enough to have all these people. Thank you so much for continuing to support. This is actually getting really successful and we really are thankful for that. But uh, So thank you. Thank you guys and uh, we will see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.